welcome to your reading for January 15th to 22nd, 2019. It's a general reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I've already meditated on your cards and they're dropping out for you. So we're going to get started right away. Oop, I do not read reversals. I do not. So if you've been with me to JC before, you will know that. Okay, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't and never force anything to fit. Now, some of these energies in your life you may be feeling right now, you may have gone through a period of this already. Um, if not, it could happen weeks from now, months from now, but never force anything to fit. Okay, I've already meditated on your cards and I have surrounded your reading with my usual healing stones. Okay, it leaves, wow, look at that jumping out for you. Okay, we're going to get started right away. If this resonates for you, then you'll totally want to take advantage of the extended reading at the conclusion of this one. That will be down in the description box. There will be an extended link for you. Take advantage of that. It's almost less than half the price. Actually, it is less than half the price. I've kept it low for you, um, for everybody, to make it affordable. So take advantage of that because it's another 15 plus or minus reading for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So right now I feel that you're in a place of indecision. Okay, you're kind of um, taking time to chill out and make decisions. Perhaps something's been going on in your life. Um, you've been working really, really, really hard at whatever it is you're doing, your career, your job, anything that makes you money. Pentacles is all about money, okay? Hangman is um, a major arcana, meaning that is something significant that's incurring in your life that's causing you to sort of go within and take the time. You're at a crossroads and making decisions, but meanwhile, I feel you're working very, very diligently at whatever career you are working at, and it may be even a brand new business or whatever it is that you do to make money and bring in income, and you're having strength. Okay, the universe here, this is another major con, or you could be dealing with a Leo, but this is, you know, having strength and courage, okay, to overcome whatever it is that you've been going through that's caused you to sort of take the time to go within and contemplate. You're, you may be feeling um, a little lost right now, indecision, trying to make a decision of which way to go. It could be about love, it could be about career with the with the uh, pentacles next to it working hard, you may be trying to make a choice about a career path to take, having the strength or dealing with career, family, whatever the case may be. There's not enough cards here just to kind of figure that out yet. So we're gonna pull some more clarifying cards for you. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button for me. The more that you all hit the thumbs up button for me, um, the higher rankings I can get and be able to keep these readings for you for free, which I love reading for you. This is my passion and my pleasure. So the more I can do these readings for you for free, fantastic. And if this resonates for you, you may want to go down the description box if you haven't been to Shay C before and click the notification bell so that you can be notified anytime new videos come out, okay? And of course, I welcome cross watchers too. You have the high priestess. So this is another major arcana. So either you are keeping a secret right now or somebody else is, or you're really feeling spiritual right now and you're trusting your intuition. You're allowing your intuition to guide you on whatever decisions you make. And that's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling that you're taking the time to go within to make some decision. It may have something to do with career money, a career path, a change in career. And you're having this strength to do it and you're trusting your intuition, I'm feeling. But let's continue on. Please clarify the Two of Swords for Virgo, please. I clarify the Two of Swords for Virgo. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to reshuffle that because um, that was way too many cards to come out at once. Clarify the Two of Swords for Virgo, please, Spirit. Why is a Two of Swords here for Virgo? Okay, there's something just flip out there. i got to make sure before I... Sometimes that happens, it'll flip out and it'll stay within the deck and then I pull it out. Okay. It happens for my readings for myself all the time. It's amazing. Okay, for... Two of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Two of Swords for Virgo. Two of Swords for Virgo. Why is the... Okay. This is the Star card. This is amazing. You have one, two, three, four major arcana in only a six card spread. So something really significant is happening, I feel, in your life right now. The Star card is about wishes coming true, having brand new hope and clarity. Okay. You may have been going through something very difficult, 
and you're trusting your inner guides to guide you and you're being guided by the angels here and it could mean you're dealing with an Aquarius okay but I feel that you're being guided here okay you're having brand new hope and clarity. It could be about which path to take in a in a um, career path, which direction to go. It could be about which direction to go with regards to love and career. But again, we don't know that yet. Whatever it is, you're needing strength and courage to do it. And I feel the universe is saying that you have it. You have it with the star card. This is wishes coming true, inner clarity, healing, um, being divinely guided and inspired. Okay, possibly even a soulmate coming in. But I'm not seeing that here yet. So we're going to continue on, okay? In the extended reading is another 15 plus or minus minutes that will go will dig a lot deeper okay okay why is the high priestess here please why is the high priestess here for virgo and clarify the high priestess card for virgo please clarify the high priestess card for virgo please spirit why is the high priestess card here for virgo Wow, did you see that jump out? King of Swords, you're wanting maybe clarification. You're wanting to cut through any crap in your life. You're wanting to get to the nitty gritty. You're wanting honesty. Okay. The King of Swords cuts out what no longer serves him or her. Okay. Demands honesty and truth. Thinks with the head and not the heart. Okay. So you could be trusting your intuition and cutting out anything that's not serving you gaining your clarity and having hope and renewal and having the strength to make a decision going within to make a decision about something of significance and needing the courage and strength to do so and it can be about a brand new career or business and you're you're trusting your inner guides to sort of guide you there but with the star card here this is hope clarity renewal possibly destined to be with a soulmate but we're not we're not quite there yet in the reading okay but this is this is a beautiful card to have this is wishes coming true it could be your wish to get a brand new business going you're working really hard okay you're cutting through any of the crap to get what you want thinking with your heart or sorry with your head not your heart this is also Aquarius Libra or Gemini I also see here uh, Leo I see again Virgo Capricorn Taurus Let's continue on. And Aquarius again. Can you please clarify the star card for Virgo? Why is the star card here for Virgo? Clarify the star card for Virgo, please. Why is the star card here for Virgo? Okay. So not only, I feel, are you cutting out anything that is in your way, wanting honesty, wanting clarity, you're also keeping your guard up. Okay. Sword energy is all about thoughts, decisions, and I, definitely you're trying to make some kind of a decision here. If it's not you, it's whoever you're thinking about. A love interest, a family member, whomever. Okay, You're definitely thinking with your head and not your heart, trying to make a decision, and feeling blindfolded at the moment and keeping your guard up. I feel that you're having strength, courage, clarity. You could be healing from a situation that's causing you to keep your guard up for whatever reason. Vice versa, it could be whoever you're thinking about if you have a love interest in your life. But let's keep going here. Can you clarify the King of Swords, please? For Virgo. Why is the King of Swords here for Virgo? Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo, please. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the King of Swords for Virgo, please, Spirit. If you'd like a private reading more catered to your specific energy, okay, I can figure out your moon, your rising signs. Go to shacy.com, my website that is also listed below, and I have a 25% off coupon code right now you want to take advantage of. There's all different selections there for you. I can do a live reading through FaceTime, Skype, or a private video link, whatever you prefer also um, over the telephone so whatever you're the most comfortable with you have the four of cups so yeah you're definitely keeping your guard up against somebody here 
could be a love interest you're keeping your guard up you're concentrating on your your money having strength making decisions maybe you're making decision and keeping your guard up about a love relationship somebody's trying to offer you love and you're like no way hell no uh-uh i am not taking that cup i've just lost all of this i'm not ready that could be or it could be your love interest whoever you're thinking of but somebody here is guarded and they're refusing to allow anything into their lives at the moment um, and it could be you or it could be whoever you're thinking about okay could be because you're already healing from something else right you could be finding clarity and healing from a previous relationship that could be trusting your intuition keeping everybody locked out right now your period of indecision okay perhaps about a relationship and like i was saying career clarify the four of cups please for virgo why is the four of cups here please for virgo why is the four of cups here for virgo please clarify the four of cups for virgo and clarify the four of cups for virgo please spirit Ten of Wands, because something or somebody in your life or something has been a very heavy burden for you, okay? Or whoever you're thinking about. There's been a heavy burden of some sort that somebody's been carrying and it's been very, very difficult. So that could be the, re the reason for refusal of letting anybody into your heart right now or you into their heart right now or somebody else. But Ten of Wands, this is the end of a cycle. Tens are the end of. So this should be the end of feeling a heavy burden, either for you or for somebody else. Let's keep going. Clarify that. Wow, did you see that jump out? Whew. Yeah, something ended. Something new is beginning. This is death and transformation, or you're dealing with a Scorpio. Another major arcana. Okay. An ending. Somebody's transitioning. What was I saying about an end of a cycle? And then the death card comes out. So something is ending and you are transitioning into something brand new. Okay. That could be you or whoever you're thinking about. And I feel you're trusting your intuition. You're keeping your guard up. You're thinking with your head, not your heart. You're being divinely guided. You're healing from something, having the strength. You're at a place of indecision, either about career, love, or both. Why is a death card here? Or you're dealing with a Scorpio. Could be both transitioning and with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Could be just a cycle is ending and you're starting a brand new cycle in your life. And it's, you know, you're having the strength and courage to, to go through whatever it is. And you're cutting through all the crap here at the King of Swords. You are not putting up with anything. You are thinking with your head, not your heart, keeping your guard up. Whew, that was a mouthful. Okay, Virgo, leave me any comments. I would love to hear from you. Also, I've been told that a lot of people are interested in me doing live readings, question and answer periods, and doing that um, uh, uh, super chat, which is, you know, you give... $15, $20, and I answer a question for you live. So let me know um, what or how you feel about that, if that's something you'd be interested in, okay? Clarify the death card, please. For, wow, there we go. That was fast. The world card. See what I'm talking about? So definitely, there is an ending here of a cycle. Death and transformation. You are transforming into something brand new in your life, or again, could be your love interest. I could be picking up both of your energies here if you have a love interest in your life. And you have completed, and this again is another major arcana. The amount of major arcanas you have here is amazing. This is completing a goal or a life lesson. Okay? Completing a journey that you were meant to. Usually successfully. It means that you're going to be rewarded for completing a goal or a life lesson if you've done things karmically correct in your, in your life. Meaning that... You haven't hurt anybody in the process of going through this transitional period, okay? The world card is sometimes means that you're going to travel or, again, completion of a life lesson, which is what I feel this is because of the death card being right before and clarifying that with the Ten of Wands. I'm feeling something was a very heavy burden. It's ending, and you're beginning a brand new life cycle here. And you're going to be rewarded at the end of that. Okay? Like I said, the star card could be wishes coming true. Healing, clarity. Transitioning, trusting intuition, working really hard at something. 
and using your head not your heart for decision making okay now in the extended you'll want to take advantage of that because we're going to dig a lot deeper i'm going to pull my cards from my enchanted tarot these are absolutely rough <laughs> 23 years old it might even be more 30 years old they are very old I've had these since I was 13, so I'm not, I don't want to age myself here, but it's very old. And look what I happened to pull up again. The world card is the card I just happened to pull up after getting the world card here for you. So I'm going to pull that one out because that was meant. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. These cards really speak to me. They just drop out. They're much older. They've got my energy on for years and years. So you'll want to take advantage of that. That will be in the extended. And I will also pull some romance angel guidance cards, which will give you any love messages that maybe you need to hear as well as angel guidance cards here. Okay. See if there's any messages from the universe for you. So take advantage of that. That link will be down below. If it's not there right away, there will be a message that it's uploading. I'm going to close your reading now. Now when I get double clarification, which you will find out in the extended, I go like that, put one card on top of the other. That's clarifying that without a doubt, you are going through a life lesson, a new journey, a transitional period, if not you, whoever you're thinking about. And with that being said, Virgo, I will see you at the extended link and we will pull a lot more cards for you and clarification and dig a lot deeper into what is going on for you okay i really appreciate you being here i absolutely love reading for you it's my passion and my pleasure and i will talk to you in the extended reading thank you virgo bye bye <music>